What's going on y'all? Michael here from the Supreme Ecom family. I wanted to check in today with an absolute banger for you guys. As you might have already read the title, I'm going to teach you how to verify your domain with the current iOS 14 update. So you can read your data more effectively in, during iOS 14 updates. I'm going to be going deep into the three step process you're going to have to take to make sure all your data is being read efficiently in these recent times. This includes verifying your domain, setting up two-way authentication, and most importantly, adding in your aggregate events into your pixel. If you do not do this, you will not be able to read your data in the current iOS 14 updates. You will also experience a huge delay in data being transferred from your pixel to your ads manager. But don't worry, I'm gonna be teaching you guys today how you can do absolutely everything so you can read your data and you don't have to worry about the delay in data being transferred over. Before I get into any of that, y'all know what time it is with the Supreme Ecom family. We always give out one consulting call a week. Before I announce the winner of last week's video, if you want a chance to be able to win a consulting call from the Supreme Ecom team, make sure you do three things. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below the word domain with your biggest takeaway from this video. and. Follow AC Hampton and the Supreme Ecom YouTube, and don't forget to follow us on IG as well to be able to get a chance of the free consulting call next week. And for last week's winner, drum roll please, Lily Evans. Congratulations, Lily Evans. Go ahead and reach out to us at Supreme Ecom with your YouTube tag and name so we can go ahead and get you in the schedule. And if y'all want a chance to go ahead and learn how I know how to do all this, it's because of the mentorship. So if you want information to join our mentorship, go ahead and reach out to Supreme Ecom and comment domain down below to see if you're a good fit. We only have six spots left, so hurry on in. Why do you want to get in this? I can tell you exactly why. We offer 24 seven customer support. We offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls with you face-to-face. -face. You also are in a huge network of other entrepreneurs just like yourself. And it's all about who you surround yourself with. You'll be right here again, working with the team. We're all in the same office together. You know, Zoom, you're able to be right here with us. We will also be teaching you some of our most advanced scaling strategies and be keeping you up to date with all current updates such as iOS 14, Chinese New Year, and everything you need to know to be a successful dropshipper. I like that. And all you have to do is DM domain to Supreme Ecom to see if you're a good fit, we'll reach right back out to you. So let's get started. As y'all may or may not know, there's been several iOS 14 updates through Shopify and Facebook in the last couple weeks. I myself and several of my students have been having a hard time reading their data with all these current updates in terms of verifying their domain, reading their data on Ads Manager, connecting their domain, and adding in aggregate events. So with no further ado, let me go ahead and show you how to get started. Results real quick. Just started this product testing at seven uh, seven thousand this week. Um, Three point seven percent conversion rate. That's going up. But you know it's all good. Just want to show that for y'all. So first step is to verify your domain. So you want to go to business settings. You're going to scroll down to where you find brand safety on this left panel. Then you're going to want to go to domains. Once you go to domains, you're going to go here, go over here and add a domain. So when it says add a domain. You have to put your homepage URL here. So what that looks like, www.homepage.com. I'm gonna put my own homepage in here so that you don't know. So don't 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 spy on it. One second. Simply say add domain. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see after you add in your homepage URL. Now, what you have to do is you have to add this TXT record to your store. So here's what that looks like. You're going to copy this record. So what you're gonna to wanna to do then, after you copy that TXT record, is you come over to Shopify, your Shopify store. On the left panel, what you do is you find domains. Then you're gonna to go to manage domains. You're gonna find your you're gonna find your primary domain that you have active through Shopify. You're then gonna manage that domain. So hit manage. You are then gonna find DNS settings. 
right here in the top right. Okay, so now you have to add a custom record. So add custom record, that's a TXT record. So we're adding this TXT record right here. You're gonna come here and you're gonna press the add sign. You're then gonna paste that value. Once you paste that value, you then hit confirm. After you've confirmed it, it's gonna take roughly 42 to 72 hours per Facebook to verify. I have experienced it be very, very short compared to that roughly 20, 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes in some instances. So what you have to do now to fully validate it and verify it is go back to business settings of Ads Manager, go back to brand safety and domains, then you'll have to hit verify. As you see, it says that we does, uh, does not match. It also says it can take up to 72 hours. So come back and check this after a few minutes, a couple hours, hit verify and allow that to verify. While you're waiting on that to be verified, what you also want to do is set up two-way authentication. How you do this is you go to business settings, so on the left panel of business manager, business info, scroll down to where you find two-way authentication. It says no one right here. Go ahead and turn this as everyone. What it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to either get a, it's gonna take you to a different Google page. It's either gonna tell you to verify your phone either two ways, by sending you a message, which is very, very easy, it's what I would recommend, or you can go to Google, the Google authentication app, and it sends a QR code to your phone. And you have to connect that QR code to your laptop and then it validates you, through, verifies you through every single one of your devices. Um, you'll always have that Google authentication account. Um, I do recommend doing a Google authentication account. It does take a little bit longer, uh, but it's very thorough and it withstands time. Whereas, you know, you can get a different phone number and that's gonna be a huge headache. Then after you do that, the last step you have to do is add in your aggregate events to that business manager. You can only do this after you've verified your domain. So make sure your domain is verified. Once you've verified your domain, you then wanna hit on these nine dots at the top left of your ads manager. You're gonna to wanna to go to events manager. Okay, so this is a brand new thing. Events manager has been around, but aggregate events is a brand new thing. So let me show you how to find this. You're gonna see this important update right here. Go ahead and just minimize that. Okay, you see right here, aggregate events measurement. That's exactly what we wanna find. Brand new, came out just a couple days ago. So let's click on that, perfect. Scroll down just a little bit. If you see, these events are processed through the aggregate event measurement protocol, which allows, your, allows for the measurements of web events for, from the people on iOS 14 devices. So people right now on iOS 14 devices, if you have not done this, you are not tracking their data effectively. So you might see purchases either delayed or never even shown up at all, if they're even getting two purchases. So let me show you how you can fix that. You're gonna want to click on this configure web events right here. It's gonna take you to this page. Find the domain that you verified and come over here to this dot uh, arrow on the far right side and you wanna edit events. It's gonna say, are you sure it's gonna take up to 48 hours to uh, you know, fix all the issues and fully track everything? Hit edit. Now, you might not have all these events in here. You wanna add in as many events as possible. So if you only have search and view content, that's okay. That's what I started out with. But you wanna go ahead and add in as many events as possible by simply saying add event this top right. And then you wanna select the correct pixel. And then you want to select the events. As many events as you have, you wanna add in here. After you select the events, you wanna put them in highest priority order. Obviously, I put payment and purchase as the highest order. I would like for you to do the same, so this is the order that you should probably wanna put it in. It's gonna say over here, after you get 100 orders in a week, you can then optimize fully for purchases. It takes up to four slots, so you have to make sure you have four slots available, and then you can turn this on, and you really wanna get this on as fast as possible to fully be able to track over your competitors. This will help you out so much in the algorithms and the bidding strategy and option system of Facebook. Then after that, you should be good to go. After 48 hours of you hitting save on this, you'll hit submit. It's gonna ask you to confirm. You then confirm it, boom, you are ready to go. All your data should be able to be tracked way more efficiently, and you are prepared for the recent and most effective iOS 14 update on Facebook Business Manager. So with no further ado, that is how you prepare yourself for the most current iOS 14 and will be able to read and track all of your data 
in 2021. And if you guys need any more information on this, definitely reach out to us at Supreme Ecom IG. Also, I know you guys are probably worried about the current Chinese New Year right now. That's 100% okay. I was worried about that too as a current dropshipper. If you guys are worried about the current Chinese New Year and what's going to happen with dropshipping, go ahead and check out AC's video right here. And don't forget, if you guys want a chance to win that free consulting call every single week, just make sure you're doing those three things I mentioned at the very beginning of this video. And also I stated, if you feel like you would be a great fit and you want to learn how to do e-commerce dropshipping, we are taking six more people this month. Again, that's six more people this month. Go ahead and reach out to us at Supreme Ecom IG and you can comment the set, you can comment domain so we know where, where you came from. Also, go ahead and go to SupremeEcomMentorship.com and go check out what's going on. And like always, I appreciate y'all coming out. My name is Michael, I'm from the Supreme Ecom team, and I'm gonna see y'all soon.